In this presentation, we are going to look at a very simple exercise with regard to writing functions. Before I begin, this is part of the CS2B curriculum for actuarial students. This is an R for actuarial science. The emphasis is placed on being able to su apply statistical methods to actuarial problems using real world data sets and using the open source software environment R. The curriculum mostly encompasses time series, uh, probability distributions and survival analysis but with a couple of other things attached as well so you might see a couple of other things in there this is question one of the playlist and it's actually a very short and straightforward question the logistic function can be defined by the function f of x equals one over one plus the exponential of minus x so the two short questions create a function in r to calculate f of x and then the second question is create a plot of this function and evaluate it at values from x ranging from minus 10 to 10 at the appropriate x and y axis labels. Okay, so it's a straightforward enough one really. It gives up how to do it, you know, for 1 divided by 1 plus the exponential of minus x x there's no trick to it at all so essentially we just encompass that as a function and so we set up a function using a function of x where x is the argument and this is the calculations okay so we'll return that now really we actually can learn more about writing functions with x here but it's really you know we can wait until we get a more complicated example so Logistic is the name of our function and the argument is x and that is what I have highlighted there is what will be returned. Okay, so let's try it out. What is the logistic function of 4? What happens when I apply x equal to 4 to this function? I get an, an answer of 0 0.982. Okay, let's try it out a little bit uh, with something a bit more serious. So we're told to get a sequence uh, from minus 10 to 10. Now I'm going to set up a sequence here called x and it goes from minus 10 to 10. I'm going to go in steps of 0 0.25 not to have it too overwhelming. But there we have it there. So this is what we get when we get the logistic of x. So minus 10 corresponds to a value of 0 0.0000454 whereas plus 10 will correspond to a value of 0 0.9999546. Now this is an interesting thing about the logistic function is that the range of possible values of the output is between 0 and 1. Okay, that's sort of the point of it. It will normalize and it will transform the any inputs into a value that is between 0 and 1. Okay, so let's plot it there. Plot logistic. The x limits are minus 10 to 10. So we're going to call it logistic function and we're going to label it with y equals 1 over 1 plus exponential of minus x. Okay, that's what we get there. You notice again that the range of values goes from 0 of the y values, the outputs. It climbs very rapidly between 5, minus 5 and 5. You notice that. And then once it gets to plus 5, x equals plus 5 the values of y, uh, y sort of stabilize, stabilize around the 1 level equals 1. Okay, so it sort of has a sigmoid shape to it, which is actually what the, how we would describe this function. Now, so I think we'll leave it there. This is used in logistic regression and some very interesting analyses that you can do with R, but that is beyond the scope of the question. Really what we were asked to do there is just write this function and that's what we've done. So we'll move on.